Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, Ryan Asi, and we are gonna speak about spinners. As you can see, we have lot of spinners here. So these all these spinners are used for different type of aircrafts. As you know, you know spinners are used in you know SAE competitions where you have to have a mandatory spinner to you know increase the efficiency. So we have a spinner here. We, let us let us talk about you know basic principles of uh, how a spinner works. So if you have a spinner, so the air comes this way. So it it hits the spinner and it hits the spinner. It it diverges to the propeller. So which means you are actually increasing the amount of uh, efficiency of the propeller. So if you could see here, there are different sizes of spinners and they have all you know they have different purposes of spinners. So and sp every spinner can you know take a specific uh, you know uh, inches of props. As if you see, uh, this spinner can take an eight inch prop. So this spinner, you just have to you know remove a single um, screw from the top. You have a bolt here. Remove the bolt. You have a washer. Then you could take your prop, slide it in, add the washer. And here is your spinner. So this thing you have to mount it in such a motor that that takes in. Uh, you know this this amount of uh, props such as this so this is a carbon prop and this has more pitch which has this has a uh, six inch of pitch so let us try a lower version of it so we'll try this it fits perfectly So now you can see that you know if you turn the motor you know it is it is giving you thrust now you can actually make your plane even look better and even though this adds a little bit of weight that does not uh, contribute much to it if you see if I just remove this the uh, let's let's weigh this thing so the motor here is gonna weigh right at 82 grams and uh, if you uh, you know weigh the spinner it comes in at 22 grams whereas if you just uh, weigh the propeller it comes in 8 grams you just adding bit more to up to 22 grams so this is this is a this was a basic spinner so if you could uh, you know if you if you could go higher you could see spinners that are bigger this can take you know 9 inch prop 10 inch prop this can be used in engines but uh, but remember you have to add a hole they don't have a hole they'll have a marking inside that that you have to drill a hole and they also come with uh, you know latches so that it can grip your prop so this is this is a special spinner this this is used for mx planes so you have a tri prop so this this thing will go in and you have a cap you know in above you can add that so you can actually get get these kind of uh, you know spinners for your kind of prop so you can you know just uh, look at the sellers and you can uh, tell them that this is the spinner that i need and you can just order it from them so if you see look at this spinner it, it's quite different because you have a, a steel base so this thing uh, is used for uh, engines and you know bigger props this can handle you know 18 inch props 20 inch props so we also have an wooden prop here so it can also take in this big wooden prop you can see how big this prop is if you compare it to my hand so uh, i can i'll show you what's inside this uh, spinner so uh, this is a pretty basic spinner and uh, you have to be conscious when you use the spinner because uh, you are actually driving huge props with this so uh, it has a metal base it has you know ridges so that it could grip into your uh, uh, propeller and this thing will not come with uh, you know bolts or anything so you just have to take your motor suppose you are taking a grand turbo motor here you could just slide it in you could add a prop like this you can have we have the cuts here you can actually increase the cuts you can see uh, that there are uh, you know grooves that you can cut so it is 
uh, it is feasible for you to cut this and these things do come with washers uh, you have to focus on this uh, you have to have the washers here because uh, at that kind of loads you know there is a bit of flex so that the spinner has to counteract that flex so you just add this uh, screws here and you're ready to go so this is one way of doing it so you know that we all get you know spinners like this you know that comes with this kind of uh, thing you know it you can just screw this on with a propeller you know this is quite inefficient and you know those if you look at all these props so the air when it comes and hits this this is this is just a flat surface and it will create a bit of drag so uh, having this is a you know huge improvement and you know it is just a little bit of weight that you're adding but you're increasing the efficiency uh, you know up to a large point. do like this video do uh, you know mention subscribing uh, and you do uh, click that bell icon uh, you know to get a future notification for the exciting videos that are going to come up thank you